triangle, and the only length they give us is the hypotenuse, and they want us to determine the perimeter. So if you remember, with this type of triangle, the legs have the same length. So instead of using the formula, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, it's going to be a little different. Our formula is going to be x squared plus x squared is equal to 58 squared. Now when we start simplifying, we're going to have 2x squared is equal to 58 squared. Let's divide by 2 to get that x by itself. So we have 58 squared over 2. Now the reason why I did not get rid of that exponent for 58 is because when we cancel out the exponent on x squared by taking its square root, we're going to do so to the other side. So x is now equal to what? 58 over radical 2. Let's rationalize. And then once we bring this to the top, we're going to have x is equal to 58 radical 2 all over 2. Then when we simplify, this is going to turn into 29 radical 2. So 29 radical 2 is the side length for one of the legs. So now to find the perimeter, all we need to do is combine. So 29 radical 2 plus 29 radical 2 plus 58. When we simplify, we're going to get 58 radical 2 plus 58. So that's going to be an answer choice of C. And this is how you would properly solve a problem like this.